I pray God grant us speed tonight. Let me begin by saying that lifting is God's mandate for every child of God. God desired that you rise and be lifted. God wants every child of God to be an example, an expression of who he is and what he can do. Faith is God's mandate for every child of God. God desired that you rise and be lifted. It's the agenda of God. God wants every child of God to be an example, an expression of who he is and what God can do. In Psalm 83, verse 18, I love that, I love that scripture. I, I met that scripture many years ago, more than 13 years back now. And that scripture changed my mentality, my perspective. So when I was to preach about this, and this scripture came to me, among other scriptures that the Lord gave me, I was excited. Psalm 83, verse 18, I think the last verse there. He said that men may know that thou whose name alone, please pay attention, that thou whose name alone is what? Nobody can bear Jehovah. Nobody. Have you seen anybody name himself Jehovah? That thou whose name alone is Jehovah. And the Bible gave us an hint there. Why are you Jehovah? Thou the most high. Over what? If you did not borrow that Bible, underline that word most high. This is where they got a name from God. They called the name of God the most high God. Our God is higher. Our God is lifted above anything anyone or anything you can ever think or imagine, God is higher. Highly lifted up. He is the most high God. And the good news is this. If he is the most high God and you are created in his image, he wants you to be higher in every situation. If you are truly the child of God. And this is one of the things that the devil attacked when he was competing in the position of God. In Isaiah chapter 12, yes, Isaiah chapter 14, sorry. In Isaiah chapter 14, from verse 12 to 15, yes. Isaiah chapter 14, from verse 12 to 15. When the devil wanted to contend with the authority of God, one of the things that the devil ever wants to achieve by that rebellion is that the devil wanted to achieve to be called that name most high. He wants to be lifted. He wants to command the attention. He wants to actually bear the rule. Look at this. Verse 12. He said, How are that fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how are thou cut down to the ground? Which did we curse the nation? Did we weaken the nation? Sorry. Did you see this? God began to bring him down. Why? What, why? what, what did he want to do? Look at verse 13. He said, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Are you seeing this? <laughs> I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation and in the side of the north. And you know our God. No, let me, let's not go to this revelation. Let's not go about the north. Alright, verse 14. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like What? Read it right there. I'll be like who? What the devil was contending for was that he wants to be lifted. He wants to rise above God. The most high. Let me tell you the implication. Ash, no time. No, don't worry. I will, I will try and do justice to this. When the devil actually challenged the authority, when the devil rebelled against God, what the devil wanted to attain 
A realm he wants is that he wants to be like the Most High. But we, we don't need to be. We have a mandate because we are children of God to be highly lifted in every department that God has placed us. We don't need to be. That's who we are. There is something in us that God has actually put in everyone to be lifted and to rise. Why? Because our God is the most high. The devil tried and rebelled against the system of the heavens only to achieve one thing. I just want to be like the most high. I want to be highly lifted up. I want to be highly referenced. I want to be highly honored. Let me say this. Lifting is powerful. Say with me, lifting is powerful. And that's why the devil desired it. Lifting is influence. Lifting is what? Lifting is relevance. There is no body that is genuinely lifted that will not influence others. Lifting is reference. Everyone genuinely lifted is actually a reference. Lifting is direction. Some of you, you bob your hair in some kind of way. You know, many of you, God will, many of you will not go to hell because of Instagram. Because some of the bad things you learn is where that's where you learn it from. You see one particular person buy woman hair, you will not sleep for days and you begin to save your salary, add in money just to buy woman hair. Why? Do you know why? Because those people are kind of lifted and they are becoming a direction in the what? In the community, in the society. How many of you agree with what I'm saying? When people are lifted, they become reference. When people are lifted, they become influence. When people are lifted, they become direction. When people are lifted, they become an example to which a society will live. And that is why the heart has it given to the children of men. God wants every child of God to be lifted and rise in every department of life where you find yourself. Because your rising will actually become the direction to which. Think about this. Think about our father, Pastor Iyad Deboe, of the redeemed Christian Church of God. There is no one who has ever passed through that system. There is no one on earth who does not actually acknowledge that the redeemed Christian Church of God exists. Even if you want to deny it, five minutes walk to every place in your village, you find the redeemed there. Are we together? That it's impossible for you to deny. It's, it's impossible. You can't deny the fact that you have seen a redeemed anywhere. And that is it all over the world also. That is lifting. That is an example and a direction. That when one to talk against the Christianity, there are people you look and you keep quiet. Our Father is so engraced enough, lifted by grace, that I won't, a lot of presidents look up to him for direction, even in their nation. That is what? Influence. Can I say amen? amen. Can I pray for someone here? You are rising. You shall be lifted. Amen. Your amen is not sounding like your life. Amen. In case you are, in case you are dead in church, we we'll bring you back to life. In the name of Jesus, you are rising. Amen. Can your amen be loud and clear? Amen. One that is lifted, command the attention of all. Anyone lifted, think about your family. Anyone that commands, look as if is lifted in that. Everyone that looks as if is lifted in that family becomes the reference point in that family. Can I hear say amen? amen? Anyone that is actually lifted in a particular country, they becomes they becomes the law. They becomes a what? Because they'll be part of the people who actually could regulate the law. Can I say this, people? If lifting is powerful. Lifting is powerful. In Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13, Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 13, the Bible said, You shall be above only. Deuteronomy chapter, sorry, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 13. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 13. I beg your pardon. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13. All right, are you seeing this? And the Lord shall make thee the head. Somebody say amen. amen. And not the tail. Somebody say amen. amen. And thou shalt be above 
only. And that shall not be. You know why God wants you to be lifted? He wants you to become the influence. He wants you to become the reference. He wants you to become the direction. Anywhere where you are found. Glory to God. That's what the Bible said in Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. He said, if the righteous rule, what will happen? The people will what? If the wicked rule, what will happen? The people will what? Mourn. You know the meaning of that is this. The righteous when they are ruling because they are actually after the fear of God. Because they have the fear of God in them. The good news about their ruler she will bring a level of order and serenity. You see, I follow the, 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 one of the nonsense going on in our country lately. About the, cookie, about the cooking nonsense going on. And I've seen, you see, I'm entitled to my opinion. For all, you see, some of you, you, you will live more than 20 years to understand some things I say. And it's not pride, and I'm honest. Some of the people that the church is actually rooting for is one lady whose naked picture is all over the internet. And on the altar of God, that same lady will go down. Where is Amora? And some pastor will be trying to associate to say, Is our daughter in the Lord? May I never have such a daughter in the Lord? May God keep me fast than to have that as a daughter in the Lord. Who's naked picture? Okay, what are you trying to model with your achievement? The reason why God wants to lift you is to raise a standard of serenity. Think about this. How many of you believe Pastor Yadebo is genuinely lifted in our generation? Raise up your hand. Let me say this. How many of you see the kind of clothes Pastor Yadebo wears? Did you see the suit? What an average redeemed pastor, they dress in the same manner. You've not, think about, you've not thought about it. You've not thought about it. Now that this person happens to hold one, uh, one uh, global award, as the case might be, and all the nude pictures are over the internet, what do you think you'll be sensing to a generation? And this is the reason why when... In case you have a problem, that's your idea. You see, this is not the way God lived. Can I say amen? Uh, it doesn't change anything. And the one that happens not to open, have the history of opening body around, trying to, I, you see, I don't have anything against anyone trying to exercise whatever you have. There are many pastors everywhere. Are we together? And there are many pastors who copy each other and all of that. I'm not trying to actually support that we don't have originality. But listen to me as I say this. Let's be careful of the things we support. There are subtle agenda of the devil going everywhere. What is the credibility of Christianity in the so-called person? Oh, this is on the internet. You can cut this video and use an insult. It doesn't change anything. I know what I believe. I was born a Muslim. An average person from that religion will never open their body. Not to gain any award on that. I'm not saying their characters might actually be as everybody have what they do in the circuit that they are trying to, they are believing God for. But let me say this God will never lift anybody that will bring, that will bring down the faith of the people that is trying to raise to heaven. Can I just say amen? amen? I'm not against anyone trying to do anything, but lifting is influence. Lifting is what? Lifting is reference. Lifting is so powerful that anyone lifted becomes the direction in the community. Can I say amen? amen? Many of you who make your hair, where do you copy it from? You see your hair in a particular kind of star. There were on the days when galaxy came out. How many of you bab galas? That they would shave this place, shave this place, and only in the middle there will be hair. Some of you did that style. Is that not so? In the days when punk came out, in the day when it was Mark Tyson that first did one thing. They call it Tyson. They will cut the hair a little. It was Mark Tyson who started it. Anybody lifted becomes the direction and an influence in the society. And this is why lifting is powerful. Lifting is powerful. Could it be that many of us are following some people that are lifted by the devil? 
That's why our life is the way it is. We need a change tonight. Can I say amen? In case you're angry, it doesn't change anything. You have posted the lady everywhere on your phone. Go and copy the naked pictures too and copy it and put it on your phone. He said, everybody have their own. No, sir. No, sir. We should, be, we should stand where Jesus stands. We should not actually ride on the waves of what is trending. Hmm? You have come. What is lifting? Number one. To rise to a higher position or a level. That's lifting. To rise to what? To rise to a higher position or level. Number two. What is lifting? To rise to be a referential level of honor. To rise to be a referential level of what? Meaning like a global icon. And the Bible said, the Lord shall make you the what? And you shall not be the what? Because, and the Lord will make you to be above only, and thou shall not be what? You know the meaning of this? When you are above only, you set the rules. When you are the head, people look up to you. God wants to make Christians the head. And this is why we need to not to ride on the way for what is trending, but to be original, to actually be of Christ. Christ should be the one lifting us. If it is not the lost doing, it cannot be marvelous in our sight. Many of you who want to rise, you see, I've seen many people open their nakedness just to get likes on Facebook. And in turn, they actually become a celebrity in a particular app. There was a young man who actually had a case of nudity on, on TikTok. That guy has a lot of followers overnight and he becomes the talk of town. They say, no, people just like what is bad. But must you do what is bad to actually trend? That's not Christian. That's not Christian. If you don't want to do this thing, go back to your village people and be doing abolition. It's not Christian. Stupid at home, only beautiful in church, and then reckless everywhere. That's not Christianity. Some of you will be praying right now, oh God, let me be like this one now, that cook 800 hours so that the whole world will know me. Don't be a member of this church if you are praying that prayer. The Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. You will be above only and not beneath. Rising to a level of honor Rising to a higher position. That's one. In Psalm 3 and verse 3, we need to rush now. In Psalm 3 and verse 3, in Psalm chapter 3 and verse 3, we need to rush now. Are you against the success of anyone? No. But I will never celebrate a success that is not biblical. That's why I'm a Christian. I will not. If that lady happens to be from the north with the kind of pictures you have seen on the internet, they will say these people are bad, but they will have been stoned to death. Oh, some people are doing the worst, but they are not mentoring community. They are not mentoring the society to be wayward. Look at verse 3. Are we there? He said, but thou, O Lord, read with me, as a sheet for me, my glory and what? Please read with me. One, two, three, go. Say, but thou are what? My glory. Who is the lifter of man? Who is the lifter of man? Who is the lifter of man? First Samuel chapter 2. Let's study. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. <laughs> I remember now. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 to 8. First Samuel chapter 2. Verse 6 to 8. But thou, O Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, and a lifter of my head. All right, let's read. 
He said, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and what? Make rich. He bringeth low, continue, and lifted up. He raised up the poor from the dust. And what? He lifted up the beggar from the dung ear to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of war glory. For the pillar of their heart are the laws. And he has set the, the word upon who was the pillar of the word? Who was the pillar of your lifting? And this is why it's important that we understand the faith structure for lifting. Can I say amen to this? Amen. Let me say this. If the devil lifts you, it's for destruction. I told you a story about that young man who actually went naked on one of the internet and yet became trending. I think I had the young man committed suicide later there about. I watched a testimony of a woman who actually became homosexual, was a pastor's wife, walked away from the marriage, became homosexual for 20 years, and then came back to rededicate her life to Christ. I was watching the video yesterday. And the woman said something, he said, after her baptism, she was sharing her experience. For the sake of the internet, there are a few things I might not be able to share. Because of, because of what they do when you talk against homosexualism. But listen to me. The woman said, for that 20 years she has been in that condition, there was a space in her heart that was not filled. She ever regretted that she left the husband. She tried to make one thing happen, that happen, that happen, just to be one thing or the other to be said, but there's a space there. But he said the only joy she has, wasting her life for 20 years now to return, is that God could see accepting. And there is a joy she feels now. How will a woman claim to be man? When the devil is the one lifting you, it's for destruction. Whatever the devil puts to you for you to be relevant, for you to command attention, whatever the devil is pushing to you, for you to be anywhere lifted is for destruction. I've seen many persons who cut off whatever and whatever and after cutting off whatever, they discover that they've wasted their life. Many of them died by suicide. Because they couldn't take it anymore. When the devil lifts you, it's for destruction. I have never seen anyone that the devil lifts that will not destroy. Time will not permit me to read about the story of Herod. Time will not permit me to, if you can study that at home, actually the apostle chapter 2 verse 20 to 24, the man came out in a group and he said, ah, there's no one mighty than me, I'm the this, I'm the that. The Bible recorded a womb, worms come and then he consumed the man because of his pride. Anyone that the devil is lifting is to destroy. You will not be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, there's no time. I really have a lot to say. But anyway, you see it in the book. Abraham was lifted without a biological inheritance. Nobody weed anything to Abraham, yet he was lifted. Is there somebody among us who is thinking right now? Isaac was lifted without any biological inheritance. Joseph was lifted without any biological inheritance. Yes. Joseph was, Jacob was lifted without any biological inheritance. If God is the reason for your life, and genuinely you can activate your faith for lifting, God will lift you up. Can I show you a scripture? In Genesis chapter 25, I will only read one. I have a lot of scriptures there. But let me read one. Genesis 25. Let's start from verse 5. We can start from verse 4. Genesis 25 and verse 4. Hey, dear Jesus. Genesis 24. Yes, we'll go further. Okay. We might not understand that we'll start from verse 1, but let's start from verse 5 so that, we, so that, so that I can cut time. Verse 5. Let's start from verse 5. And Abraham, help me read. One, two, read. And Abraham gave all that you what? Into, what did Abraham give to Isaac? Verse 6. But I said unto the son of the concubines, which Abraham had had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son. 
And why he yet live eastward and unto what? The east country. Let's see verse 7. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived. A hundred and three scores and fifty years. Please go back to verse 5. To the other children, they were giving gifts. When Abraham was about to die, he called all his children together, which is a usual custom. He looked at them and he said, okay, I'm about to die, Father Abraham. And he called the children of the concubine. He gave them, the Bible said, he gave them what? Gift. Go, uh, please go to verse 6. We'll come back to this place. Can we jump to verse 6? He said, he gave them what? Gifts. And what? And sent them away. But the question is, what did Abraham give to Isaac? The Bible recorded that he gave all that he had. But all the treasures that Abraham had, he has given it out to the rest. So what was left? There was no biological inheritance. I preached this before. There was no biological inheritance that was given to Isaac. But yet, Isaac prospered. What really lifted up Isaac? There was no biological inheritance given to Abraham from their parents. There was no biological, there, sorry, there was no physical inheritance that was given biologically. And you know something? I'm sorry to say this. And that's why when I lost my dad, few family members called me, say your, house, your dad has this house. Your dad has this. Your dad has that car. Your dad has that. They asked me, okay, what will you do? You are the first son of the family. I said, no, put everything together. And then whatever it is, give it to my mom. I don't want to even know. I, all of our few houses, not four, not five, that my father left. I don't know how they are collecting rent you now. For what? For what? I'm not saying somebody that is collecting rent is bad. But me, no. My mom is still alive. They work together for it. So for me to now sit down and say, bring all the this to me, mm -mm. I'm not saying people who are doing it is bad but I have a better understanding that God will prosper me Abraham did not need any physical biological inheritance neither did Isaac need any biological inheritance, he said oh maybe your father did not have big houses, that's why he did not take it but the ones he asked was enough to solve problem not one, not two, not three not four, not five houses I don't know how much they collect rent here now. Why? The real spirituality will teach that another time. Glory to God. Are you confused? Let me rush because of time. So you can be lifted without biological or physical inheritance. Let me rush now. I need to jump and jump and jump. All right, there are three requirements to be lifted by faith. Let's study Mark chapter 11, 22 to 25. I'm going to show you three things there and I'll close. That's because of time. But we'll try to read all the scriptures. Mark 11, 22 to 25. There are three requirements to be lifted by what? By faith. Jesus answering and said unto them, Have faith in what? Can we use another translation of this? There is actually, another translation said, Have the faith of God. There is a God class of faith. If anybody must rise, you must actually rise. Yes, and Jesus replied, He said, Have faith in God. The NIV, the Amplifier said, have the faith of God. There is a God kind of faith. The meaning of that is this. The belief system of God that there is nothing impossible should actually be your mentality. The faith of God is, a, is actually a barrier broken faith that there is nothing impossible. You want to be lifted by faith. You must operate the God kind of faith. And I love this. I love this scripture. Not your traditional kind of faith. Many of us are in church, but we are too traditional. And that's why we are never lifted. I've seen many people, the reason why they are not married is not because God has not answered them. Their tradition and their culture supersede their belief system in God. And the God kind of faith simply means suppress every other thing that you believe in. Only the God of the Bible and the simplicity of his word is what you should believe. 
The God kind of faith implies that you will not fornicate before you marry a lady. That's the God kind of faith. The, guy, the God kind of faith, now, the, the word kind of faith system is that you need to see before you believe. But the God kind of faith simply is you need to believe before you say. Anyone that will be lifted must have this kind of faith. The God kind of faith. The faith system of God that sees through all impossibility. The God kind of faith that Abraham demonstrated. The God kind of faith that Isaac demonstrated. Not even biological or physical inheritance. But yet it was still great. Why? Because of the blessing. But the blessing to be lifted is upon us. We just need to have the God kind of faith. All right, what is this God kind of faith? How did he operate? Number one, go to verse 23 of this scripture. Verse 23 said, Can you bring up verse 23 alone? Only verse 23. Look at this. He said, I surely, I assure you, sorry, if anyone says to this mountain, be lifted and be thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believe what he says will happen, it will be done unto him. Faith to be lifted. Number one, speak the future you see, not the problem you have. Speak what? Not the what? This was what I demonstrated on Sunday. I said, don't mistake me for a mad person. I said, this old church is filled already. We are already doing second service. I said, they are already putting canopy outside and television for people to watch. People look at me and say, are you normal? Yes, I am. Faith does not speak what you see. Faith speaks what you want to see. Are you married? Yes. Do you know ever before I got married, I already wrote a date. And the same date was I got married. I wrote it without seeing a lady to marry. And the date did not fail. I see have it in my Bible till now. I wrote it. For Lubod. I put the year. I put the date. Without a woman. But God confirmed his word. Maybe when we are treating marriage class, Mama will share a story of how that she told me no, no many times and I let her be. And one night after I left her, she called herself. And she was confessing her sins later. That how God, that what made that to call that day, she did not know. That's the God kind of it. But that day, she did not fear. I'm not telling you some of you have two, three girlfriends. Don't go and write nonsense. God will slap you and join. You don't understand. No, no, see, I'm, so, I'm honest. I'm honest. It's people who stand on the integrity of the truth. Some of you, you are just listening to the responsibility. The only thing you know is to lie to this, lie to this. Look for, mm -mm, mm -mm. I've seen workers in church. You have a girlfriend in school, a girlfriend in one place, I and that person in church. <laughs> not things, I'm not saying things like that. No one write if you write anything, your village people say will help. The God kind of faith, number one, is to speak the future you see. I have never spoken my challenges once. I always speak what I want to say. I stood one day, I said, by the grace of God. I'm going to be riding a particular car. I was, I was just talking. But what I said came to pass. Now, let me say this. When you are speaking negative, people used to like you. Is that so? You say, oh boy, I say, oh boy life is not easy for me. You say, no, so Nigeria is hard for everybody. The way the things they go. So, you know, people can actually compliment you. Is that so? But when you begin to speak what is positive, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. I'm wonderful and fearfully made. I'm the head of... Uh, people will look at you and say, are you well? Why are they attacking? Why come people don't attack you when you speak negatively? So when you speak, when you are speaking negatively, how come people want to sympathize with you? They say, I'm suffering. They say, yes, I can see it. They say, the way you are looking, self, you are really suffering. They say, Nigeria is hard for me. They say, yes, it's hard for everybody. Four has even cause. They say, the way I'm looking at it, my life might not be better. I say, I already know. The way things are going, things, might not, things will be hard for you. But if you tell them things are easy for me, they look at you and say, how? You said, no. I'm wealthy and prosperous. Right on your Facebook, I'm a billionaire. There's not many people that will mock you. But if you can actually stand by what you believe, you'll be one. Faith always speak what you want to see, not what you are passing through. Anyone that will be lifted must actually talk in this manner. I wish there's time. 
I will just try. I, I, I thought I'll be able to cover up what is in the notes. Believe me as I tell you. If you always speak your challenges, your challenges will never leave. But when you speak what you want to see, it will happen. One day, I went to check in in one hotel. Very good hotel. And I said to myself, I said, this is what my room is going to look like. Oh, it's not like that now, but it will be like that. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you say to yourself? I'm from Enugu. Life hard for me. No, 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 no. Say in my village, nobody ever rise. Is that what you're saying? That will become your experience, but I will never talk like one. You look like a fool doing so. But this is what the Bible says. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe. He said, Those things you are saying, the Bible said you will have it. The things you are saying, you what? The things you are saying, what did he say will happen? Let me show, let me show you Abraham's, Abraham's case. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. If you are not ready to say, let's use Abraham. There's no time, but let's use Abraham. If you are not, you say, I'm, I'm, I'm good for nothing. I'm just a market girl. I'm a market girl. Okay, that's what you'll be. That's what you do. Nobody is lifted above what you are saying. You can never be lifted above what is coming out from your mouth. You can never be lifted above what is coming out from your what? From your mouth. Romans 4, 17. Let's read. He said, what, what shall we say then? That Abraham, our father, pertaining to verse 17. Verse 17. Receive grace in Jesus' name. Verse 17. He said, as it's written, I have made thee the father of many nations, before whom he believed. Look at this. Even God, whom quickened the dead, what did he not do? And called those things which be not as though they what? When God created the heaven and the earth, did he, how did he do? He said, let there be. Is that, he didn't read it. Let there be light and there was light. Let there, let there be, let there be. Everything God was saying, God was saying. Anyone that will be lifted, we need to speak it first. The time is coming. I said it in the old church. That all the elders of the church who have retired from work will be following me to fly in my private jet to go and be doing crusade everywhere. People look at me and say, you don't even have a bicycle. But I'm better than Mexico now. And that time is coming. It's not your believing, it's me saying it. You can create a future for yourself with your words. Speak what you want to see, not what you are passing through. If you must be lifted, faith teaches you to what? Speak what you want to see, not what you are passing through. Speak what you want to see. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. No, you speak at those things will be not as though they what? As it were. Number two, the prayer of faith. Let's be very fast now. You're far behind time. Go to verse 24 of that scripture. Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 23, we just read. Just go to verse 24. Anyone who wants to be lifted must understand the prayer of faith. Praying the prayer of faith. And how does it work? The prayer that is born. Look at this version before. He said, Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever you what? After you are already saying it. You now say, Whatsoever you desire, what will happen? He said, Believe. That what? He said, Whatsoever you desire, when you what? When you pray. He said, Believe that you receive them and you shall what? What do you need to do first? Believe you have received first. Think about this. I need a millionaire. I've been confessing. When I now pray, I say in the name of Jesus, I need to set a few things, just a millionaire, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. I believe I've received. You know, the moment you believe you have received, you will never be complaining about it again. The problem is, when of us is that, when we say we have believed, is a lie. Most times when we say we believe, we still complain about it. When you say you believe, you receive, I give thanks about it. Oh, when are you going to get married? Oh, December 21. Yes, 2023. He said, Do you have a man? Yet he said, No. 
Okay, I prayed about it. The Bible says, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive and you have. So anytime I want to think about what do I do next, I just say, Father, thank you. The date is settled. In the name of Jesus. When you will not doubt, let me tell you one thing. When you will not doubt, the devil will be tired of you. People who doubt, the devil gets them. But people that will never doubt what they desire, the devil gets tired of them. Can I say amen? All right, verse 25 now. The last, the last one. Let's be very fast. The prayer of faith. Number three now. Number three is forgiveness. And this forgiveness is heavy. There's nobody that wants to rise that carries a spirit that is dirty. Mm -mm. Unforgiveness is dirtiness. And please pay attention to me. And in case you are watching online, pay attention. Anyone that must rise must shed the weight of unforgiveness. How much can you forgive people? Can you be fasting for nine days and somebody look at you and give you a slap and yet you hug the person, remembering God, not what the person did? I've seen people who did all manner of things against me. That when some people, the son of the boy who stayed with me one time ago, who hurt me badly, wrote me today, wrote me, which today is Wednesday, wrote me yesterday. He said, I can, I can tell them to put the, what the person writes on the screen so that you read and give you the number to call the person. Because I did not have the number again. So he wrote me on WhatsApp and he said, Mama, I read that conversation. He said, I've never seen a father like you, not even my biological father. He said, the things you teach me were hard, but it took a long time for me to understand. He said, it's not as easy for me as I think, as the case might be. And if I mention the name of the person, you know this is somebody that does not waste words. If I mention the name, some of you will know him. He doesn't waste words. He's been a strong boy all his life. I told him it's okay. I told him it's okay. He said, I missed you, sir. I said, no, I honestly miss you. I don't have anything against you. He was surprised. With what he did, he thought I would be angry again. Long ago. Long ago. There's nobody who is confessing to be the head who is carrying the baggage of unforgiveness. Check First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 9. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 9. See, if there's anybody in your life that you are keeping mind is with, that might be the reason why you will not rise. No matter what they have done against you, let it slide. The moment you are claiming rights too much, you will never even be right. There's nobody who claim rights too much who is not always wrong. Now my rights. You're supposed to greet me first. There are many of you I greet you first. I don't wait. I've seen many of you who are proud. I'm your pastor, but you want me to greet you first. But I don't see it as anything. I greet you, I carry my wallet. Okay, if I greet you now, and I say, but will they know who greet first? As I now increase you to be above me. I see people who demonstrated the level of pride, level of this thing. I won't say, I say even that is even my right, I don't see it as anything. Oh, good morning, how are you? Yeah, yeah. I've done things for people that, by virtue of office, they are supposed to do. But no, I don't see it as anything. You know what I'm looking for? This is what the Bible says we should do. It said, holding the mystery of faith. With what? With what? With what? This is the, this is the forgiveness that scripture is talking about. You cannot in any way rise in your life when your conscience, when the faith you are holding on is not born out of a pure conscience. Mary, you offended me three weeks ago. You have a book for everybody who offended you. At a 6 a.m. 6 a.m. on the There are some of you who are even angry at some people. You know why they're angry? They only come and gossip. You say, I don't like our bodies that talk. The way barista talk, I do not like. You two start becoming the enemy of barista. You are nowhere. You will not pray seven midnight prayers and nothing will happen. You will not say, oh God, you are not asking my prayer, you are frustrating me. No. It's the baggage you are carrying. God will never promote anyone that will be a bad model to people. God will never promote anyone that will be a bad model to people. That's why I'm against the one opening body, opening everything, and then some churches are shouting. No. 
Go back, Kakana Jina. Holding the mystery of faith with what? Pure conscience. How many of you genuinely want to rise? Number one. Say what you want to see. Not what you are passing through. Somebody is saying, I want to be the president of this country. Tinubu has been saying, I will become president of this country since, since 1993. When you write a book, we're going to read it there. He's been saying, I'll become the president of this country since when? 30 years ago. Some of us are not even 30 yet. The political party at that time is they were calling hope, hope 1993. When he came, he said he knew hope. Same agenda 30 years ago happening now. You will never see Bishop Oyedewu when he has one trouser and just one B2 that is not even seen well. He will come and say, I will never be poor. He was very poor when he was saying it. But is he looking poor now? I can never be sick. You know why? What you can declare boldly, God will confirm openly. Whatever you can declare boldly, God will what? I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and not beneath. I will arise and shine. My family limitation will not stop me. Even the hunger of those who hate me will not stop me. I have the best marriage in my life. I drive the best car. Even when, you're, when your shoe will bend like this, no. I drive the best car. When you begin to talk like that, you'll be lifted. Apply that to every department of your life. You will never know failure. There's an aspect of faith that makes people to rise. It is declaring what they want to see and praying the same prayer of faith and not carrying the baggages of unforgiveness. There are some of you now, you are offended at people that are offended. You are still angry at some people that offended you nine years ago. Nine. They say, Why are you angry at sister so and so and so? They say, When we are small now, when we are small, the way he slapped me and now took my pop off, he bullied me. And you now meet the person and yet you are still angry to you now. The question is, what kind of a Christian have you been? Nine years ago. I've seen parents, I've seen a child in this city who will never give the, who will never give the mother money. Rather be suffering the mother. And I found out what was happening. The guy said, when I was small, the mother said I will be poor. Now that I'm rich, I will show the mother. I'm telling you a life story. Life story. Even Tina, that case is still there. That young man suffers the mother thing. You know. The mother sleeps in one room, yet he's living the other day, having cars, and yet the parent has suffered. If the devil allows you to rise, it's simply because the devil wants to destroy you. How many of you can predict the future of that boy? Who look at the mother and say the mother must suffer because he said he will not prosper? He believes in the younger ones more than... How many of you can predict the future of that boy? Rise to your feet. I give you two minutes. Speak what you want to see. In that, your academics. You say, ah, you see, I just finished work. No money to go to school. No, don't say that. You say, I finished my university already. I'm a medical doctor as I propose. Would you speak in one minute? What do you want to see? Speak to your rising. Speak to your lifting. Speak. I can never be sick anymore. The devil will never get me anymore. I'm the head and not the tail. The people who rise are the people who command attention. The people who rise are the people who command attention. The people who rise. We don't need your voice and let God hear you right now. Let God hear you right now. Speak. What do you want to see? Speak. What do you want to see?
We step into overflow as a church in the name of Jesus. Three services is overflow. The Lord make it happen. I will never beg to eat. I have more than enough. I will never be broke another day of my life. I am promoted.